Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video today because guess what just arrived? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this box and I have a feeling that this is going to be the brand new F6, uh, no, it's going to be the brand new F48 from Falcon Christmas. This is truly exciting because uh, I've wanted one of these ever since uh, Dave Pitt started talking about it. So my order is here and this is an official unboxing and display of the there's the euro connectors for 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 something wait a second how can this be an f16 v3 wait a second i've got looks like i've got a couple receiver boards so i didn't order those at least i don't think i did maybe i did i don't know two receiver boards and inside here we have two more receiver boards uh, wow, look at that, two more receiver boards, and we have our brand new F48 Extra Large Pixel Controller. That's right folks, let's get this thing opened up and let's talk about it. There we go. Ooh. Smell of a new digital pixel controller right here at your fingertips. So. Looking at the board, here we go. We've got, um, it looks like we have our ETH0 and ETH1. Those are our network inputs. Then we have over here, uh, we have a USB uh, port. FSEQ files will be stored on a USB drive. You'll plug it in right there. Looks like we have the uh, micro SD card uh, right there, the slot for, for that. Uh, he has added in the uh, wireless adapter right here. So here it looks like we have a uh, battery port where we'll be able to uh, go ahead and insert a battery and hopefully it can keep a real-time clock going for uh, uh, any onboard sequences once that functionality is uh, put together. It may have been created already, so we'll find out more. We have our selector switches here for um, our on-screen OLED display so that we can make changes to the Falcon without having to go to the interface, which is an awesome feature. I found that very useful in uh, trying to set up the display this year. Uh, and then we obviously have one, two, three, four sets, four sets of three, which is uh, four sets of three outputs for the RJ45 jacks that will actually go right along with these here uh, receiver boards. So what, what you need for this controller is you need, uh, this is your um, uh, power input. There's also another power input looks like right here. Um, this is, I believe this is a five volt ground, uh, or, or I'm sorry, five volt and a ground here. So on the board, it's right there. Let's see, maybe the camera will pick it up for me or not. Um, and then there's this uh, other standard connector that you might be familiar with. Then there is also, once again, we have three serial outputs. There's probably a fourth serial output built into, you have to do a breakout cable, but you'll be able to do four serial outputs from the, uh, from the header here. Uh, this would be the first and the fourth, and this is the second and the third, I, tr I believe, or maybe I have it backwards. Then you have the functionality of these jumpers uh, here, which you can pull out the jumpers and set them to be for standard DMX, or you can move them over and you can set them to be for LOR uh, data protocol, which uh, is just moving it so that it's easier for the data to go out to the controllers. Um, with some fan headers at the cross, across the top here to keep uh, everything nice and cool in the enclosure whenever you have those power supplies all ramped up if you have this and maybe one of your uh, receiver boards inside. So um, let's talk about the Falcon really quick and uh, see some of the things that uh, are very interesting that you'll want to learn a little bit more about. So um, every single one of these outputs is set up to run off of all of the, uh, off of the uh, single output so you'll connect a standard network straight through cable, a patch cable. You'll you'll run a standard network cable from here into this. This is like a mini uh, pixel controller. It extends out to up to a hundred. I'm sorry, up to two hundred feet, and you will be able to control 
up to four outputs worth of pixels. Now, the pixels depend on the total pixel count on the board, So, and there's a slider in the setup screen. And we'll probably have to get into this a little bit later, but uh, this is a wonderful addition if you have a modular display that is located highly throughout your entire layout. You have a lot of locations that need pixel and data, and this controller will really help you get data from one central point out to specific points in your yard that you want to get pixels going and running at. So, uh, guys, this is the first look at the Falcon F16's uh, new companion, which is the F48 differential board. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video today. If you like the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you click on the bell notification to, so that you know when we post a new video that you can add that in as well. Also, if you really love the video, share it with all your X-Lights and LOR and Christmas like crazy friends. So thanks again for watching. We appreciate you being a member of the channel. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you again really soon. Take care. It, it's here. It's here. You should be excited. First off, every single one of these uh, outputs is set up to run off of... Whoop.